Okay, today is uh, March 6, 2016. It's about uh, a little bit more than uh, 10 minutes till 11 uh, Pacific uh, time. So probably a uh, good morning to all you folks over at the uh, East Coast. So let's take a look at the uh, market, you know, some of the, uh, the futures, and then we finish off by, uh, you know, just get a little update on the, uh, the momentum stock that we've been following. So let's start uh, looking at the crude oil. And as you recall, we were basically looking for this uh, 33.72 to punch to and then get up to the 35.35. As you can see right now in the overseas market here, uh, it's uh, making its move uh, higher again. So it's been uh, on a run for the last week or so. And uh, the uh, target, the next target we're looking at is this uh, 38.58. Uh, level here, so it's basically between this uh, 161 and a 141 level. Right now, it's hitting 127 extension. Okay, so essentially, you're looking at this particular swing here, you know, this uh, Fibonacci swing. Uh, you see that it pulled back to the 618 and then get a bounce, nice bounce to the extension of 127. And if we do a uh, you know symmetry, you know symmetry move uh, or essentially you know this this then. Uh, you know, equivalent to, uh, or you know, to make an equivalent move here, which is 100%, then we're essentially looking at the 1618. So that would be somewhere around the 39 and a quarter. Okay, but right now, essentially, we're looking at something else that point to this 3858. I think that's uh, one of, you know, that's uh, probably will be uh, a fair value there for some time. Uh, you know, so we'll probably look at that uh, level first to see how it react when it get up here on this 3858. Okay. Then the next one is Go. Uh, Go is, uh, you know, perform a little bit surprising to me because I was uh, looking for a little bit more of a pullback and, uh, and, and, uh, and a little bit longer period of a pullback than just a couple of days. You can see that it came down to this 618 extension, this, I mean, uh, uh, this retracement uh, uh, level here, essentially it came down to uh, this particular pivot here as a support. And I was looking forward to uh, at least come into this zone here before it go back up, you know, and also uh, then, um, uh, you know, expect to just see a uh, two to three day type of a pullback and it just uh, went back up. So right now you can see gold is uh, still making its, uh, its move here. And, uh, uh, you know, this is the overseas market uh, right now. So uh, last Friday is kind of finished up with a little bit of a spinning top, a little bit of a possible topping candle. We'll probably see a little pullback. You know, I do expect it to see uh, maybe a retest down here at this, uh, you know, 1191. Okay, but uh, right now I'm not going to be chasing after that. But also the other thing is I have put up a little bit of a triangle here. So you could look at this as a little bit of a flag or a pennant or whatever you want to call it. And if we uh, do a little bit of an extension uh, move here, you know, a major move, and let me use this uh, Fibonacci extension tool. So if we are going to look at it, let's say we're going to measure it down here somewhere. Okay. Then uh, if we look at 100% uh, you know, major move, that will put this thing about uh, 1422. Even uh, close to 80%, that would be a 1380, which is in confluence with the 161 extension. And you can see that uh, I have a Fibonacci retracement here right, on this uh, particular uh, swing. Right, you know this area here. So we uh, come down, bounce off of that uh, retracement zone. Remember, we would like to see a bounce off at this area here. So if we uh, get a little bit of a bounce off at this 618, and uh, and if we do a little bit, uh, you know, symmetry type of a move, then uh, it would be 100% from that bounce, and that could come to uh, this uh, 1618, which is 1383, in confluence with this, close to this you know, a little bit of a flag measure move somewhere around the 80% level, somewhere around this 1381 area here, right? If we round this off, it probably could be like uh, 1385, but that's close enough here on this 161. We'll probably be looking at that if this thing has continued to bump up. So just kind of keep an eye on that. Like I said, I'm not into any trade on a gold or gold mining stock or anything like that. So I won't be chasing it right now because a lot of those things is basically made its move. And if you're chasing it, you don't know where the risk is going to be, right? You know, on any kind of pullback because, uh, you know, you don't know when is the next uh, next peak that you're going to hit and get a little bit of a pullback. So I would rather just wait for some kind of pullback and then go reassess. 
Okay, and then we're looking at the 10-year bond. We'll see the 10-year bond coming back down. So I think right now uh, we're looking for a little bit more of a consolidation here. Uh, I'd be surprised if we come down to this 38.2 uh, retracement area here, you know, uh, before it bounces. I, I would think that maybe, you know, it's somewhere around here because I do expect that in the, uh, uh, the, well, the FOMC meeting is next week. So for the March, the month of March, and I do not expect any uh, rate hike from that. I'd be surprised that the Fed will wait, uh, you know, raise hike this round. I think the uh, the message will be, or their little, uh, 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 you know, statement will be essentially in a in a sense that yeah, you know, the job market is looking a uh, little, uh, making progress, and the economy is still, you know, expanding at this, you know, such and such 2% or whatever, and the, uh, you know, the employment market is looking good, but although, you know, things are, uh, are seem positive, but there are some headwind in the global sector, you know, somewhere around, uh, you know, in the other uh, area in the global financial market, and, and, and so we basically still maintain this gradual normalization uh, policy and we're gonna uh, you know look at rate height on a gradual uh, 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 you know uh, normalization uh, uh, you know uh, uh, sort of a point of view and and we will monitor uh, you know all these other stuff that they mentioned so in other words no rate height we're scared of shit okay we shouldn't even rate you know did the rate height back in December <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's basically what I'm, uh, you know, trying to paraphrase. Okay, so yeah, I'd be, I'd be a, you know, very surprised if we see a rate hike in March. And I believe, I think I heard, heard somewhere that the the market is actually pricing a zero percent, you know, for the Fed to uh, to raise height. So anyway, so much for the storytelling. All right, let's move on. <laughs> so essentially, yeah, still looking for this thing to maybe hover around here and then, you know, go back up. With uh, you know maybe in the next week or so, uh, before the uh, you know we we'll probably see this turn before the FOMC meeting uh, you know uh, uh, take place, then we we'll probably get a little bo uh, pop up uh, you know so essentially the rate gonna uh, you know the interest rate is uh, gonna come down uh, and you know after the uh, FOMC meeting is done, okay with the announcement that's not gonna be a rate hike. And same thing with the uh, 10 year. That's basically just a pretty much of a mirror image of the uh, uh, the 10 uh, the uh, the 10 year. This is the 30 year. Okay. So uh, looking at the dollar, we are looking at the dollar to come up. Remember, we were looking for it to come up to do this retracement zone, and it did, and now it's pulling back. So again, we're basically now we're looking for the dollar to. Uh, uh, retreat and possibly get down to this 95, uh, you know, 28, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised that we might see, uh, you know, when the uh, the Fed uh, decide not to raise uh, height, then we probably get a little bit of a H uh, breakdown, right? And uh, we could uh, come down to uh, these level down here, okay? So that's the expectation. So now, and uh, we look at the uh, Dow future. See the Dow future actually exceeded this uh, September, uh, you know, these uh, this particular uh, uh, pivot here, this uh, September uh, FOMC last year's uh, uh, meeting. Uh, you see, uh, right now it's getting up to uh, this particular resistance area, and you see also I got a Fibonacci retracement going through the sort of like hitting that 1618. But in reality, we're basically looking at it. Uh, well, this is not the 1618. I mean. Uh, you know, uh, I've got the uh, Fibonacci retracement here for this uh, double bottom uh, major move. So it's coming up to this uh, 1618. Uh, so that's uh, sort of coincide with this, uh, uh, you know, resistance. Uh, but I do expect this thing to continue to move up. Maybe after a little bit of a pullback and possibly back to this uh, uh, 16,715 minor pullback, you know, and then get a little bit of a push uh, to uh, this 200%, uh, and that would be the 100% uh, major move of this uh, double bottom to uh, to this level here, 11. I mean, 17,487. Um, I will not be surprised to see this level be taken out. Okay, if the uh, market pull back and then uh, continue to run. So, uh, so that's basically the Dow future and also the uh, uh, S&P, uh, the E-mini. 
you can see I got a lot of these Fibonacci retracement. Uh, let me uh, hide this for now and then we'll come back and talk about those later on. Okay, so initially we were, uh, you know, we, you know, uh, we're targeting and going above this uh, 1940 and if book do that, then uh, we uh, basically was looking at these level here. Remember I was saying that uh, I expect these level be taken out and this one here is the uh, last year's September FOMC announcement day after the meeting was held. They announced there was no rate hike and this is the uh, day that the uh, meeting started. Okay, so those were the uh, two levels that we're looking at, and right now I'm still waiting for this level to be taken out. We already saw that on the Dow, right, on the Dow future, but on the Dow itself as well. But uh, we do have a, a little bit of a spinning top, okay, so we could see right now it's got a little bit of a minor pullback on the overseas market, the overnight market here. Uh, if we do see a little bit of a pullback, I'm looking at maybe somewhere around 1980, okay, on a minor pullback 1980. So it could be uh, come down to us, uh, you know, on this uh, little bit of a Fibonacci extension here, extension I was trying to just kind of look at this uh, little bit of a extension move to uh, take it up to this uh, 2028. But if we go back and take a look at some of the Fibonacci retracement, that I have drawn in here. I know there's the people that putting this uh, this Fibonacci retracement right, using uh, this uh, swing here. Right, and then you can see then the price uh, come up here would be a 618. Right, okay? so, so a lot of people looking at this as the uh, 618 on, uh, on this particular retracement. Okay? Then uh, I have been looking at this particular retracement because I was initially looking at this as a potential H breakdown, and this right here came up on the 50% uh, uh, you know, level before it uh, you know, retraced. Then it, uh, it held, you know, came down and tested slow, just a little bit below that, but also I was saying in one of my posts, this a new closing low, okay, and that uh, gave us a non-confirmed closing low that implied this thing is going to go higher. Okay. And, uh, and right now, essentially, I'm looking. Then I'm looking at a double bottom or a W type of a, a pattern, right? Move, okay, right. So then we do a major move to get some projected price target on a hundred percent major move that will bring this thing up to this level here. Okay, it's just that when I use the Fibonacci retracement tool to project that up, you can see that. There's a 1618 here, and here right now is sitting at 141, uh, you know, extension. But those are just, you know, coincident because essentially the one I'm looking at is this major move up to this level here. But before it does that, I'm looking for this thing to be taken out, right? Okay, right now it's essentially hitting this particular resistance, okay? And again, it's coincident to this 618 extension here. Okay, so we could say there's a confluence here, okay, and it could come down and maybe retrace back down to this level here, which is would be a 50% on this Fibonacci retracement, or also you could see that this is also the 50%, right? I mean on this 50%, it was not this 50%. Okay, so if we retrace back down to this level, this 1940 essentially, right, where we, uh, you know, where it broke out from, okay, and you know, essentially, this is the uh, W uh, pivot level. So we could see potentially, you know, maybe a little bit of a consolidation up here. Let me get rid of some of these lines. Okay, right. initially it's down here, seven nineteen eighty. Okay, not too much of a pullback. Looking at this nineteen eighty, think, uh, or then probably uh, come back down if you can't hold this. Then maybe come back down and retest this nineteen forty. Right. Okay. So because. Uh, you know, uh, the, uh, this thing has been running for, uh, you know, been up for four consecutive days. So we have to be a little bit cautious about the continuation without any sort of a minor pullback, you know, to, uh, to consolidate some of the recent uh, gain uh, before it uh, makes its, uh, its move back up uh, further, okay? So that's one of the reasons I'm kind of expecting a little bit of a pullback, right? Not much. And if something happened, then maybe it could come down and retest this 1940, okay, because that 1940, uh, 
So, and if we take a look at the uh, the cash index, I uh, essentially see these are the level that we've been uh, watching to be uh, taken out. Right? Okay, so that's why we got this, uh, you know, 2020. Okay, so we're still waiting for this to come up. But uh, again, you know, we might come down here, you know, maybe test it before it go up. Or it could even come all the way down to this 1947-45 area before it come back up. But I'm also looking for this 2081 to be taken out if this guy is take be uh, taken out. Okay, so in other words, we just have to watch this 2020 as a key level. If it uh, break through that, then there's a good possibility that it could move up here. Okay, the reason why I'm saying this is uh, I know there's a lot of people looking at the uh, price pattern, moving average, and all this other kind of good stuff. Over so, I mean, overbought oscillator and that sort of thing. Um, you know, those are good things to watch, but I think the uh, the, the the more important thing is the uh, the the internals. The market internals look fairly uh, uh, strong, and uh, and and it's been improving ever since this particular day. At you know the uh, the February 11, okay, or oh, I would say that uh, it's been showing sign that it's been uh, improving even before this particular day. So uh, definitely right now the uh, market internal is still showing uh, the, uh, the 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 odd for the market to move up, uh, move to a higher level uh, is uh, you know uh, higher than it uh, going to collapse. Uh, you know, a lot of people are looking at a, uh, a, a initiation or, or a new bear market to start. But I believe that uh, it, it might have a bear market coming, but uh, I don't think uh, it's, uh, it's we are there yet to uh, that turning point that I usually call it as a turning point to, uh, you know, to change direction. So right now I'm still looking at uh, uh, higher high you know, after this low here, okay? So, so and if we uh, take a look at the spider, okay, the ETF for the S&P 500, okay, you can see that here's this low zone that I mark out for potential retracement. So in other words, you know, essentially we're basically looking at maybe possibly 197.56 and get a bounce, right? Okay, or it could come down to 194.41 and get a bounce. Right, but I do see it uh, to uh, continue, uh, continue on to uh, to higher level, and the first one is this particular level, you know, two hundred two eighty nine, and then the next one is the two hundred seven seventy nine. Okay, so, and then we uh, take a look at the NQ, which is the Nasdaq uh, one hundred uh, uh, future. Okay, so uh, so this is the uh, potential uh, support. If it pull back 42.46, the next level of uh, you know, resistance or the target is 43.65, and again the uh, FOMC uh, September uh, 2015 announcement date uh, target is 44.41.75, and if we take a look at the Q, okay, here's uh, the Q. So support will be down at 102.50. And right now we're sitting at 106.06 uh, resistance, looking for it to take out 107.19 and 108.73. Then eventually probably uh, go in and fill this gap and move up to this pivot high. <laughs> and if we take a look at the uh, Russell 2000 future, the TEF, so you can see that it's uh, very, uh, very strong. Right, one, two, three, four. And I got a little bit of a doji. You know, if it wasn't for this doji, basically talking about maybe eight consecutive update. So the uh, Russell has been uh, been quite strong, uh, though we uh, could see a, a little bit of a pullback to this uh, 1050 to 60 level and then make us move up to the 1109. And if we take a look at the IWM, the ETF, you know, again, here's the uh, 104.99. So we could see this pullback and then get up to this uh, 110.61. Okay, so I think that's it for the index. Uh, let me just put up the uh, Dow Jones Transportation. Okay, and here's the Dow Jones Transportation. You can see that this thing been uh, fairly, uh, you know, strong ever since that it made its uh, low down here. 
in January 20th. Okay. And if we take a look at the weekly basis, you can see on the weekly basis, it's been up, I think, uh, in the last uh, three weeks, uh, as soon as uh, TD Amitray here load the data, and maybe we could see something. So I'm not sure how long it's going to take this guy. So I'm going to give up on waiting, going back to the daily. But anyway, it, uh, it, sh it shows how this thing has been moving in the, in the last uh, you know, month or so. Uh, quite of a turnaround. And guess what, folks? You know, transportation is up while the oil is going up. Right? So you think that the airline and all those other guys will go down with oil prices go up, right? You know, so, so that's you know that's why I say sometimes you know, uh, don't look look past the obvious, right? Okay, right? You know the obvious is, right? The the airline wouldn't be doing so well with higher oil prices, right? Well, you go figure. If it's that easy for us to decipher what the market's gonna do, I don't think anybody will be working for a living, uh, you know, in this world, right? So that's why this is what they call the easy money, but the hardest game to play, yeah. right? You know. So anyway, let's go and take a look at some of the stock here, and the stock that we've been uh, following is these Momo stock. So let's start off with Apple. See Apple, we're basically looking at this 101.53, and it broke through that on Friday. Matter of fact, the pin was 103. So, and it came in at that 103.01. Right now, we're looking at for the next target is 105.57. Okay, all right. Now, all these previous levels could be potential uh, support if it pull back. Okay, but right now, the target that we're looking at is 105.57. And then we'll look at Facebook. As you can see Facebook came came to this retracement zone and if we pull back, it could pull back to this 10681. Then the target was that 11065 and it sort of hit that last Thursday. Or I mean on Wednesday here. And right now essentially looking for this thing to trace up to hundred percent, which is one seventeen fifty nine. Okay. So again, a lot of these things, you know, do expect a, a little bit pullback this week, okay? Because, you know, things can't go just straight up, right? We have to be a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, 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 cautious and be aware of how, how, you know, how much has it gone up already. So it kind of be expected a little bit of a pullback or some profit taking uh, come in. Right? And Netflix, you know, Netflix is quite a surprise. Right, we uh, two weeks ago we were talking about retesting the 95, and it came up to this 97. We're looking at this 97, and it punched you to this uh, 101. Uh, I was looking at a 100 as a pin last week, and it's just uh, you know kind of surprised me that it actually uh, came up to 102, and and closed it at uh, you know 101.58. You know so. So the uh, the next level that we're looking at for Netflix, because if it break to this trend line here, you see it's bump up against this trend line, resistance is break to that. I'm looking at this 110, 14 level here, somewhere around this 110. Right now we could see a pullback to this uh, 97 and possibly get back down to this 95 area once again. So kind of have to uh, keep an eye on that. But if this thing does you know, break to this 101.86, then the next target level is this 110. And then uh, Twitter, you can see Twitter is actually making its move. Right? Remember we were looking at a possible right, inverted head and shoulder here. Right? So, so you can see that right now, although on Friday we got this little bit of a topping candle, so we might get a little bit of a shake and bake Right, you know, uh, and, and, and uh, th this week, you know, maybe come down here and kind of shake out some of these guys that have been chasing this thing, and then maybe uh, you know, kind of, uh, uh, you know, stay down here for a little bit, then break through, you know. So that's why I call this a shake and bake, right? You know, so you shake these guys out, you know, kind of bake it for a little while, let the kick pop up. It's just like baking a kick, right? <laughs> you know, then we see maybe this twenty one ninety nine, and then this twenty three twenty eight might be. Uh, uh, get tested, okay. 
So, and that's basically what I'm looking at. And if we uh, take a look at the uh, using the Fibonacci retracement tool, just to get a little bit of a major move, you can see, uh, well, well, let me get this thing down here. Yeah. Let me redo this. Okay. So you can see this, uh, this is the 200 percent so that means I mean a hundred percent major move will be uh, 24 uh, 12 and right here is somewhere around maybe 80 percent retracement I mean major move so that brings it up to this uh, 23 28 so that's probably uh, uh, would be uh, this area here as a as a initial target okay? and if this thing could uh, you know kind of uh, hold about this 17 area and then make a move back up then we probably could see this thing uh, come up to this, you know, 22, you know, 22, 23 area. Okay. Then Amazon, and we're looking at this 580, tagged in 580, now it's coming back a little bit. So, so there might be a little bit pullback. It could come down to this 560, and if it can't hold this 560, it might get even come back and retest this uh, 547 uh, level here. And uh, you know, and if it uh, continue to push upward, then the uh, next target level we're looking at is 638.06 here. Okay, and then Google. Google did not have a good week last week, especially the last three days. It seems to be pulling back while the market was going up. So kind of have to be careful on this. You know, so it could be uh, pulling back to retest this 700 uh, level. But if we could find itself to uh, find some strength to, uh, uh, you know, reverse itself and come up and test this 752, you know, that's a possibility. So we kind of keep an eye on that as well. Okay, because if we uh, take a look at this, let's take a look at, uh, we do a little bit of a Fibonacci retracement here. So you can see that 50% is somewhere 746 here. Okay, so uh, so we kind of want to see this thing come up, you know, maybe get above this 752. Then there's a uh, possibility for this thing to move back up to 100% retracement up to this 810. So so these are the key level here. I guess the uh, 752. Just kind of keep an eye on that. And uh, if it can't even, uh, you know, get up to that level, then most likely we'll probably see this thing to come back down when we test the 700. Okay. And then finally we got Tesla. Uh, Tesla came to to this retracement zone. Got a little bit of a pullback, right, to this, uh, you know, essentially this 38.2 level, and to this uh, 181.50. And now it's pushing up to uh, this 204. So the uh, the the target area that we're still looking at is 231.38 up at this level here, pretty much uh, you know uh, uh, right at this gap level. And you can see this level just kind of co coincide or uh, in confluence with this particular. Um, you know, uh, resistant level. So we might see a little bit of a, uh, you know, uh, kind of consolidation between this area here before we make a push. Uh, but I uh, do see, uh, you know, Tesla to uh, move higher as well because uh, uh, I'm not sure right now that, uh, you know, the uh, the momentum have uh, have gone away yet. So, so that's it. And, uh, oh, let me just put this up. I think some of you guys might want to pay attention to the VIX. Okay. So, uh, uh, although the uh, market doesn't seem to display much of, uh, have much of fear, uh, too much fears right now, but uh, keep an eye on this. You know, uh, if it comes down to uh, 1958 and, or 1882, these are the two levels that I'm watching. Uh, you know, uh, pay attention to it. I wouldn't be surprised to see it bounce up to uh, 23.55, you know, in the uh, coming week, uh, sort of in anticipation of the Fed meeting, I mean the FOMC meeting. Uh, you know, maybe uh, maybe after a day or two of a pullback, then uh, people get a little bit fearful and might uh, start buying some protection and that sort of thing. So just kind of keep an eye on that, uh, you know, this uh, uh, 23.55 level and the 1958. Okay, good luck.